Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So we've upgraded to 1.7.10 and there's a bunch of bug fixes, uh, some mech changes, there's a new cab file downloaded. So we've got, um, hopefully there's some other mech models. Um, I know they swapped some of them out, so we'll see what happens. But we're four days before the end of the month. We've got our second lance ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and jump in with one more mission and then I'm going to update the mechs. Um, I was thinking about doing it now, but I figure if we can get another mission in before the financial report, that'll give us way more C-bills to be able to work with next month. So we're going to go to the command center, and we're going to take Reconquest. I had a look at these. I think this is probably the best one. Well, the best one is Intercepted Salvage, but I guess the Torians in the city urban environment at Five Skulls, I don't know what to expect, and it's an active battlefield. So we're most likely going to take a fair bit of damage if we go down and do this one. And I want to avoid that at this moment. So I think we're going to just going to take Reconquest. It's just a destroy base mission against the pirates. I think we'll be okay. Probably three lances to start, and then we'll see what happens. All right, so let's negotiate this sucker out. Going to go full salvage, of course. It's going to drop our rep with the pirates down a little bit, but I'm okay with that. All right, so um, we need the Victor, we need the Battle Master, we need the Awesome, we need the Black Knight, and then we need, uh, let's get these guys out, and we need you, and you, and we need Earthquake, uh, Focus, and where are you here, Swifty, let's get... Um, put sledge on the conquistador we still need to get some targeting computers for this the whole reason why this thing's not hitting well is the, the lack of internal targeting computers so that's the big deal and then we'll put scramble on the avatar and jaws in the bushwhacker let's go okay here we go all right this map so okay Alrighty. Okay, I think I want to try... Well, we know their reinforcements generally come from uh, this side. So we're going to try and... Uh, I mean, how much space do we have over here? Nothing. I was going to say we can try hitting it from the hills on this side, but... Are we... Oh, we got a wide open area over here, though. We could push up this way. Um, I'm just worried about height advantage here. So let's do that. Let's move more this this direction, I think. Now they've changed, you notice they've changed the uh, the layout here for um, ammo mode and all that kind of stuff, which is cool. Got it. We'll get into it as we go, I guess. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. But like I said, they made a bunch of minor changes, so... Roger. Yeah, let's get the bushwhacker up. Coordinates received. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Moving out. Okay, we got enemy contacts. They're just that's just buildings that we can see. We've got the range, though. I mean, that's the one good thing about this this group is that they've got good range. Yep. Uh, let's get the bushwhacker up ahead a little bit more just to see if we can see anybody over here. Bushwhacker is really the closest range. Mac, the rest of these guys have got some good long range capability. I'm hearing vehicles. That's good and bad news. I mean, good news because they're easy to kill. Bad news because they don't got a lot of salvage on it. But there's three lances there. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, wow, scrambles first, eh? Yeah. Want to go out to these buildings, I guess? Let's start it off. Mm -hmm. Let's just see what our targeting is at this range. I don't think it's going to be that good. Yeah, 40%. That's actually not that bad. It's all 40, I think. 34 to indirect. 40. So this is the... They're all large. That one's medium. 150. It doesn't really matter. They've all got a lot of health here. Um, 
just wondering. I like how they've done this now. It makes it so much easier to, to uh, determine what we're going to do here. So incendiary, LK, 240 and 240. So that's, where are at? LRM 50? Yeah. So that's like almost five turns. All right, we got the ammo. I think we'll be fine. Let's go incendiary. See if we can bring this sucker down. All right, it's a good start. All we need is better sensors now. Protect these enemies. Okay, he looks like a small boy. Javelin or something? Yeah, Javelin. LRM-15 probably, yeah. Um, good to go. See if you can get us some eyes on, buddy. Let's get a little closer. Or at least sensors on, that would be handy. No? Okay. Alright, uh, what do we got next? Yes, Commander. Quakey. Um, gonna slowly push up. Okay, I want to take this far. ridge if we can. So this was the one that was targeted. Well, we've only got kinetic on this guy. Uh, I'm gonna hold off, because I want to use this against mechs. So we'll just hold off. Should have sprinted then. Should have sprinted, but I didn't. We're just gonna walk it though. All right, we got some range with this guy, I think. No, we don't. We got. You can use the arrow one shots, but we'll hold off. Well, it's AOE damage too, right? I wonder if. Um, you know what? Let's hold off. I don't know what we're going to be up against. I can do. No point in wasting munitions when we don't need to. Let's sprint up here. we got to get a little closer. This guy's like... So slow. Blurgle master. Snub nose PPC... Now that's just wrong. Why the heavy PPC can't hit that but the snub nose can? That is so bizarre. Alright, nice. 31. We'll take it. What can I do for you? And this guy can... This guy can target from this range for sure. Going turbo. This guy can target. Could probably just stand here and finish these buildings off and then just, just leave. Um, we got thermal, right? We do, but it's out of range. We're going to leave it off. Just use the ERs. You betcha. All right, we got one hit. That's nice. Good start in that building. Hearing some vehicles moving up now. My main concern is their turrets. I don't know what their turrets have got. That's why we gotta push up, get up there close Light as fast as we can. Pull those turrets down. If they've got turrets, I don't see any mounts. Like usually there's one here. All right. I'm showing minor damage. Palisade. Thunderbolt. Wow, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Makes me wonder if they're using liberal use of uh, thunder munitions here. Okay, so they do have turrets. I did see a calliope turret right here. Usually there's one like... There's one there. There's usually one up here. And then one here and one at the back. This looks like that's the back turret. I don't know. I guess we'll see when we get a little closer. So that's the Javelin. What are you? Devastator. Okay. Receiving you. Uh, let's head this way. This way. Hmm. 
Sure. Ooh, nice. Look, you can see right through him. Well, it looks like you can see right through him. Wait, who's that? Nice. All right, we got to get our I hear you. AMS on overload here. Pedal to the metal. Uh, no, no mines. Manicore. Um. Not going to waste out in the javelin. Plus we're at long range, so let's just see here. Okay, one hit, nice. Want some more? Huh? Don't know, maybe he does. Ready for orders. I copy. Start getting some sensors on here. Right here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's switch our AMS here. Uh, do we do it? Where do we do the overload? Where do we do overload? There we go. We want to be able to help our uh, allies out here. That's why. Okay, let's get down here. And can we ping? Or sensor lock this guy? Can. Sensors locked on. Evasion unchanged. At least we know where he's at right now. We could go for a kill shot on him, or we could try and pull this... Well, maybe not. Uh, let's switch to... Um, Artemis and see what we got here against the, the uh, vehicles. So 60 on this guy. That would probably be a kill shot. Devastator's got a pair of AC-20s. I think we should start shooting at this guy. Manticore, LRM-10, PPC. Um, let's just go... ...for the kill shot. Done for. Sure is. I'm gonna leave the buildings for now, I think. Oh. Itosume. Ha! Send me a real opponent. Don't tempt fate. What's the weight of this guy? Somebody's breaking through some buildings over there. Two ER magmas and a heavy PPC. Some pretty chunky ass armor too. That's the thunderbolt. Okay. Um, How's it going? Sledgehammer, you got to get in close. You can't do a goddamn thing until you get close. This thing can't do anything until we get a bigger engine in it too. Uh, wow. Yeah, until we get something bigger in this thing. Not much we can do. All right, let's just ping this guy. On oh, that's nice. Tagging two lasers, we'll take it. Jaws, man, I hate to say this, but you may have to take out that Devastator. Nice. Clear that up. Well, we didn't hit any, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> we made a good showing of it, though. Okay, series tank. You're gonna have to go for a hit and run, buddy. Alright, uh, focus. Yeah. Getting our firing line up and running here. 
not optimal height, but it's getting there. So 61, 30, 55. How much armor does this thing have? Well, if we can get a nice side shot on it from a range. I just don't want this thing to close. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to Warlord this one. Just to give us a better chance to hit. Okay, the big gun hit, and that's nice. It's less threatening for the Bushwhacker, too, if that guy's gone. See, it's almost like we need, like, two or three fast mechs, like fast heavies or high-end mediums like this guy to get in, close with the enemy, do a bit of damage, and then retreat until our heavy boys can get up there. You know what I mean? Like, move in, attack, get some sensors on while our heavies are shooting from range. And then, you know, once they've taken a bit of damage, pull back and let the heavies engage when they get closer. I think that's probably how we should be looking at doing this, especially if we're going to be playing on larger map sizes. Uh, we got to keep moving closer. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's got to be the Devastator. we got to take this thing out. Okay, looks like we've got a bit of penetration on that one side. Although it's not this side. Wait a minute. I can't tell. Uh, you're going to reserve. I don't know what side the damage is on. Standing by. Can we get that rack into play on the Hitsumoto? What's our chance here? Okay, that's actually pretty good. Let's wind it up. Let's confirm a Warlord going after this guy. We're going to wind the rack up. Yeah, they've this streamlining is so much better. Um, it's also less confusing for me. <laughs> ah, firing. Nice hit. Ooh, four hits with the rack too. Beautiful. Got good armor protection, but not protected enough. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Okay, so I think we need to go after. Uh, where are you? That guy. This guy. Oof. Well, if we're taking low chances to hit, let's go after the Devastator. Maybe we get lucky on it. Uh, I'm going to put this up, and I'm going to switch to Thermo as well. We're going to Warlord it, give us a bit better chance to hit. It'll be back by the time we're close, so. Okay, the big one hit. That's a nice hit. That's a nice hit. Is it gone? When I shoot you, you'll no. Take it and like it. Oh, he's going to take it, but he ain't going to like it. Okay, that guy's backing up. That's good. Yeah, man. Do we get any of them? Ooh, we got ten of them. That's not bad. Right here. Let's clean up that Devastator. I want this Bushwhacker on the uh, Hitsumoto. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I mean. The difference of having a targeting computer or not. Oh, pen, but didn't kill, eh? Okay, we have to kill this guy then. Bushwhacker's going to have to kill it. Ooh, does it have a firing solution? Nope. And it never will. Jaws is going to be moving ahead of the uh, AMS, but I think we have to do that. I'm going to give him the, uh, give him some resolve. Let's get better initiative next turn. Nine hits, nice. AMS ammo is going to burn out pretty quick, but. That's fine. I'm okay with that. That's going to give us some ability to get close and then start hammering these guys and they'll start dropping like flies. Alright. Reporting light damage. He still has to go. 
So does so does Sledge. Not getting much out of Sledge. Although you know, maybe I was just thinking too that this uh, Conquistador. I mean, we may want to run it like we did the uh, or like we're doing the other Black Knight, putting the uh, the PPC and stuff on it. Um, yeah. Let's get into where there's trees. Just in case. Get there. And we're going to go ahead and Vigilance. And we want to, we're going to just smoke this guy. Yeah. F you, buddy. Reporting. Enemy vehicle. This thing's Limited. devastating at close range. He's still... F I saw something moving over here and I was like, oh, it must be a vehicle moving up. It's like, no, that's the <laughs> that's the Devastator moving away. All right, Sledge. All right, you got some speed. Let's get up here. Start closing with these weapons. Get some moto, please. I know it's a shit chance to hit, but I'm going to fire. All right, got the tag on him again. Good damage. Keep that fire suppression going. So that's the Calliope turret, I think. Reporting minimal damage. Alrighty. What can I do for you? When does uh oh Jaws goes on eighteen? Okay, so not bad. Um, yeah, we need to start to close with these guys. Got some open area now, so we can start sprinting up. Want to get up this hill, hopefully, in a couple more turns. So let's go after... What are you again? Pirate Marsden. Rotary 5 Pirate. Manicor. Let's go after this guy. Let's get rid of this heavy PPC if we can. He's got lots of armor, too, so if we can pull him down. Yeah, nice. Yeah, baby. Thermobaric explosion. Enjoy the heat, Bubba. Oh, he's only got one weapon, so it's not like it's that big of a deal for him. Is he backing up? He is. He's running. He is running. I'm going to get a bushwhacker I'm shot listening. on his rear end. Can we get a solid green? Is that a solid green? No, we're still... That's a solid green, though. Confirmed. He's going to eat a solid green right here. Ah, crap. Well, he doesn't have much back armor. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, not bad. Strip some armor away. We're going to push him with the bushwhacker. What's up, boss? You know what's up. Make my day. Boom! How does 50 bullets in your ass make your day? Firing at enemy six. Yes! I think that was a leg hit though. Well, those Thunderbolts, man, I gotta say, they are, they're hitting a fair bit. They've got a lock on me. I love how they lock you and then shoot at somebody else. It's just so... I don't know. It seems so ridiculous. I've got another mech circling around back there. another one of those guys back there how are we doing on the back ah we barely even hit it we mostly hit his legs all right let's hammer him we don't have any uh now we don't Got it. Oh, oh, oh all three x pulses hit lost evasive who do we got left here yeah, sledge how far can you get up here can you get a solid green i, I think you can but you gotta be here can we just walk there? We can. So we'll just take the walk. And we're going to shoot at this guy's backside. Alright, we already did some good damage. Do we want to use the arrows? 
Let's just do it and get him out of the way with, and maybe we kill this guy. Got it. Okay, that hit. No. Good damage, though. Is he going to fall over? I'm out of long yep. Sure is. Take more back damage, but he's still intact. Okay, looks like we've cleaned up pretty much the left side here. Ouch. We're cleaning up the left side here. We can take this hill now. We're going to push up the hill here. Yeah. What can I do you for? It's always five bucks, buddy. You know. Double time. Let's go. It's just because it's you. Anybody else is ten. Okay, 42 on that guy. Eh. We don't have firing solution on that guy. 19 on this guy. So let's go after the vehicle. I'm going to make some friends. Are you just upset because it's a vehicle? You feel like it's you below you? Wait, you? Feels like it's below him. He's like, ah, I don't want to shoot that guy. Give me a real mech warrior. I think we're out of AMS ammo. Wouldn't surprise me if we are. All right, we're going to start taking some hits. Time to spread out, everybody. Oh, it's a vehicle. Probably a TBM LRM carrier, like the other guy was. Come on, oh, that's your LRM. Warrior. That Thunderbolt's going to crest the hill, and then we're just going to murder his ass. The bad thing about that, um, ow. The bad thing about the Thunderbolt is usually got low armor. Good armament, but low armor. I think if you're going to do that, you need to have mostly indirect weapons so you don't have to engage with direct fire and stay out of the enemy's, uh, sight. Bushwhacker's starting to take in some damage here. We'll see how we're doing in a second. That's the Calliope, it looks like. All right, they're into turrets. I'm showing minor damage. We're at 10 to 6 now. They got four turrets. So let's count the turrets. So 14 versus 6. <laughs> Don't tempt fate. Commander. Uh, let's hold off with you. I hear you. How much resolve? We got a fair bit of resolve. So I'm going to sprint. Get into here. We'll worry about our stability next turn. And let's go after the torso of this guy. Uh, let's switch this to kinetic, though. And yes. Alright, well, okay. Uh, I'm going to reserve scramble. Whatever you say. Same with this guy. Keep ourselves turned this way, though. See what this baby can do. We're going to have this hill shortly. Uh, same torso, please. Target acquired. See ya. Okay, the bushwhacker can move now. Thank you. Alright, who do we got? Jaws? Yeah. Um, what do we want you on now? You're up here by yourself, so let's rotate a bit. Um... Let's get down here. Going full throttle. Use your move maneuverability. Get out of their line of sight. So now they got to kind of they got to kind of come up over the hill to engage us, and then it'll be a whole lot of fu to these guys. All right, our rack is back. We're gonna see if we can blow this vehicle up fast. We got a couple more guys to go to, so we're gonna go right after this. Look at the rotary chance to hit. Let's fuck him up. Rack versus rack attack. Nice, he's panicking. We'll put some. We still got two more guys to put some heavy hits on him, so I think we'll be able to kill him. At least with the um, the Artemis ammo. Yes, Commander. Okay, we'll just walk it up. 
Don't need to worry about getting too far just yet. They can't see us. This guy's gonna get this guy's toast. Lots of armor though, that's the one thing we gotta remember. Ooh, his front's almost gone. Even if he decides to move, we can indirect him with the missiles. Which he's not going to get a chance to do. Get in the trees. Going to put you in a support role or a support position. Uh, we're going to switch out. We're going to go incendiary. And fire it all. Beautiful. Uh -huh. That'll do. That'll do. All right. They're down to eight and four turrets. Damage is minor, Commander. And they'll most likely get reinforcements. One, I think two. When two buildings drop, I think they get reinforcements. Yeah, he's got thunderbolts as well as LRMs. Same as that guy. What is that? Was that, that to say it was a palisade? Is that what it was? Damage is light. Yeah, that's a palisade. Huh. As long as we're getting lightly peppered by these missiles, I I'm fine with that. We can choose who we're going to engage and when to engage them. Okay, what's this guy? That's the Thunderbolt. Well, what's this is the Palisade? That's the Palisade. What's this guy? Manticore. Two Manticores. Okay, that's what threw me off. And this is a Palisade as well, right? Hybrid carrier, TBM, LRM. Okay. Uh, Waiting on you, Commander. All right, we'll get our uh -huh. stability back as we're climbing the hill here. Time to engage this Thunderbolt. Let's try and pull him out of the battle. Beautiful chances to hit. Uh, we're going with kinetic firing. All go. Okay, good start. I think I want to get you on the LK bandwagon here and see what our chance to hit this guy is. 31. That's pretty good. And this guy's got very little armor. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and sensor lock. I don't think it's going to matter, but we're going to sensor lock this guy. Locked on. Come to oh, we did take an, an evasion point off him. And then we're going to go ahead and attack this guy. Here comes the lerms. Okay, it's a start. What do you need? I want you to get your stability back. I'm not going to waste my resolve at the moment. Just bracing it in here. Um, because I want to use it for initiative Commander? for these guys as we move up. So that's just shooting at the buildings and him. Okay. Just trying to avoid getting into the way of having too many guys being able to see us here. So lasers, here we go. Oh, the big one hit. Tags on. Good to go. Okay, this is going to put us in a bit more of a dangerous position if we move over here. We got three guys seeing us. That's only a building. Well, I think we're okay to sprint it. Going full throttle. So let's go up this side. Okay, I'm going to dial this to four and go ahead and fire. All right, three hits. He's unstable. Beautiful. Ready for order. How far can you get? Not very far. Going to shoot over the head of the victor. Don't shoot him in the back. 
We got pretty good chances to hit. Let's warlord it so we have even better chances to hit. Okay, two hits. We didn't even hit our own guy. Isn't that great? I love it when a plan comes together. So they mostly got missiles. This is the guy I'm worried about. 870 armor. Don't know if the bushwhacker can take him. I think he's got melee too, so we'll probably pull the bushwhacker back this way until this guy comes around. And then we'll hammer him as these guys come up the hill. We should be able to take him out in one turn, maybe two. If the bushwhacker can get a good back strike on him, then it could be all over. Like we could do a uh, an offensive push and try to blow his back, a CT, or like his left torso or something out. So only got 90 armor on the back, and it's his internal structure is low. So worst case, I mean, we could just crit the engine too, which is nice. All right, come on, guys, finish it up so I can kill y'all. Ow. Come on, girl. We got to kill that guy. Scramble better kill that guy. Things are going to change when they get line of sight, that's for sure. Okay, internal repair armor went off. not giving us the best chances to hit but it's also limiting the amount of direct fire we take too so um, we've only got kinetic on this we're gonna fire it anyway uh, let's warlord it get right on this guy and we're gonna dial this up to six I want this guy gone this turn I got you. there you go eliminated. okay what can I do for you Who's our next target? What's this guy carrying? Palisade, two ballistic, and some missile. Well, he's there. Let's take advantage of the shots and kill him before we crest this hill. Good, good chances to hit. Going to warlord this, max out our damage and fire. Commencing alpha strike. Oh, beautiful! All four hit. Good damage on him. Not your turn to shine yet, buddy. Just back up over here. Taking enough damage. Yeah. Let's get you out in the open. On my way. Get rid of the negative chances to hit. And we're going to drop some more arty on this guy because he's starting to do some damage to us. So let's go LKM. Okay, we've done some penetration there. Nice. Oh, now I'm just I think one more up. turn should take care of that guy. Maybe. By. Maybe. Let's not go into the fire. Let's just step forward here. Go ahead and shoot up this guy. Yeah, once this guy gets a targeting computer, it'll be a lot better. Well, I take it back. Still hitting nicely, though. All right, who do we have left here? We've got... Victor's already gone. We've got the Battlemaster. You've got nothing. You hear me? He's got LBXs is what he's got. LBX what, though? That's the question. That's the Manicor. That's the Hetzer. That's the other Manicor. Yeah, man, you guys stay indirect. That's fine. Not going to help you any. All right. Receiving you. Focus. Now. 
All right, here come some heavy hits on this guy. That's... Ah, we're hitting the wrong side. Right? We're hitting this side. We might get the turret, though. Anyway, here it comes. Beautiful. Report one left vehicle. Okay, we got our flanker gone now. We can just go head on with these guys. Okay, Hitsumoto. Hitosume is moving around. Oh, well, the AMS is still working. Didn't hit anything, but it's still working. They've got a sensor lock on me. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're cresting the hill next turn and we're gonna hammer these guys. Damage minimal. I'm hoping to pull down two or three of these guys next turn. I wanna try and kill that Calliope turret. There should be another turret here somewhere. That's got me concerned, because if it hasn't fired at us, it could be like a direct fire turret, which means it could be like ACs, which means it might have an AC-20, which could be very bad for us. But it's usually like right here. I'm kind of shocked I'm not seeing it. Oh wait, they moved it back! Heavy LRM turret, heavy Calliope. Yeah, they moved it back, because there used to be a turret here, a turret back here. There it is there. One up in this corner, and then one up on this hill. But I guess they moved it back here, which is kind of a good position for it, especially if we're coming from this side. All right, what do we got going on here now, guys? All right, let's engage them. Let's do it. So our Manicor's got LRM PPC, and the Hetzer's got Thunderbolt Packs done. So he's only got a Mind Dispenser and an LRM 15. How much armor does this thing have? Let's just go for the kill shot with this guy. Uh, let's dial the rotary back, though. I don't know if they're going to have reinforcements or not. Let's go this route. Okay, a little bit of damage. Max our chance to hit on this guy by not moving. 40%, we'll take it. Here comes the LK ammo. Nice. Nice. Vehicle kill for me. So they got five left of the originals. I hear you. I don't want to be on a direct line of sight of that th that uh, Calliope turret, so I think we're okay here. Let's switch this around. We're going to go thermal on this guy because it'll do more damage, I think. Ah, uh, still not a kill, huh? Panicking, though. Orders. Well, it doesn't matter where we go. We're going to be unstable here. Well, let's give it to him then. Okay, a good start. We've still got the Battle Master here, right? Oh, and the Black Knight hasn't gone either. Ooh, nice shot. Nice shot, I'll give it to you that. I'll give you that. Nice shot. Yeah, you just wait. Turn's not over. I'm going to be targeting you because you're on unstable ground. Yeah, see? Nope, not you, I guess, eh? Petzer didn't move. All right. Oh, it did. Never mind. Took some damage, though. Going through those flames. Stay out of the flames. Let's go into here. chance on the manticore here. Not very good. We could get a kill on him if we hit, though. Cestrus has got how much armor? Almost nothing. Large and LRM. Let's go after this guy. Better chances to hit. We might kill him. Roger that. Oh, maybe. Nope. Good damage, though. Score. Critical hit. 
Yeah, man. Ooh, you almost got him. Who do we have left? We got the Battle Master, right? Yeah, see, they got another turret back here. Oh, they moved it into the building. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, for this map, moving the turrets, moving these turrets back like that, these two front turrets, is a really smart move. Because they were, they went down real fast. Before. Alright, so. Yeah, this guy's more of a threat, so let's go after him. Not enough for a kill, though. Damn. Thought for sure we would get that. He didn't have much armor left and only 60 internals, so... It's okay, they got three vehicles in jeopardy. The Hetzer, the uh, Cestrus, and the uh, Manticore now. Oof. That was the Calliope turret, I think. They're not shooting the Bushwhacker, which is interesting. He's very unstable. I thought they would have gone after him. Who's going first here, Jaws? No, Scramble. Right here. Mm-hmm. Where was the direct line of fire? Oh, from back here. Mm-hmm. I'm going. Oh, come on. Uh... Let's go this route. Just need a few hits on there. Is that enough? I don't think so. That there was a critical hit that was. No. Oh, crap. Waiting on you, Commander. So we got buildings and this turret it's got an AC 20 but it's out of range it's out of range it's not going to get a chance to fire this battle so let's clean this guy up gonna leave this off though no point wasting the ammo all right garrison's gone bye bye four turrets and four units left what's up commander Okay, we're finally getting this hill. Let's just target this guy. Good damage. Commander. Position confirmed. Okay, we can't see those two vehicles down there, but we can sure as crap see this guy. Um Leave it at four. I don't know if they're going to have reinforcements or not. Receiving you. Let's do this. Then let's do this. And this. Wow, the X pulse is all missed. Okay, nice. Target's taken a critical hit. So they got three vehicles, they're all badly damaged. Who do we have left? Just a black knight, right? Nope, don't need the turret just yet. Copy that. As long as it's only indirect, we're good. That's the Hetzer, it's almost done. 
this guy's got good chances to die, so let's, let's take it and kill this guy, hopefully. Ooh, that was nice. Tags on, but not enough to kill. I think we hit the front. I think we hit the front. Oh, well. At least with the scattered, um, like, ammunition, like LRMs and stuff, they can fire all, all, like, and have a chance to hit different different areas. So if you've got a damaged side, plenty of chance to hit. But when you're using lasers, it's like, there's it's very rare that you'll hit the side you want to hit. All right, these guys are moving in to die. Appreciate the bravery. Oh, he is in range. Shit, where did you hit? I've been sensor locked. I didn't think that AC-20 was in range. Light damage, Commander. Arm hit. Ow. Thunderbolt 10's in that arm. I'm here. All right, let's get fucking angry with these guys. Two hundred and eighty armor, eh? That don't matter, we'll just strip it all off. Okay. Yeah. Location confirmed. It's all gonna be indirect, but let's uh Who moved the most? This guy probably did. Thirty-four on this turret. Thirty-one on this. Let's go after this turret. This one's more dangerous, I think. There we go. Get some crits on there. Mama destroyed that turret. <laughs> she sure did. Good to go. On my way. Can't believe that AC-20 was in range, man. That kind of, was kind of shocking. Gonna put the thermo on. Hopefully we, we can hit both these vehicles. Okay, not bad. Critical hit, Commander. At least he's panicking. Move order received. Oh, we got another turret back here. Rifle position. Heavy rifle and medium rifles. Ah. Yeah, let's go up to this turret, I think. Damn, man. All right, whatever. Shooting this guy. Let's get rid of him. Firing full complement on him. Wow, he's still going? Nice. Hey there. Th think you can kill that turret for me? Let's move. Let's find out if you can kill that turret. That thing's like holding on there. Engaging target. That should do it. Yeah. Nice. Reporting. Turret eliminated. Alright, we, we squashed two turrets that turn. Wounded another, damaged some vehicles. Not bad. Wasn't quite what I was expecting, but... This is the only major threat left. I think he's got a pair of AC-10s. Uh-huh. You better run. Systems holding. 
You better, yeah, you better run, buddy. Is he just flipped on his side? Looks like he's flipped on his side. He is. What do you do, flip over trying to run away? He's turned on his side here. I don't know if you can target him now. My awesome is so awesome. Let's try and remove this guy. Let's warlord it, warlord it and because fuck him. Commencing alpha strike. Wow, uh, two large lasers hit. Okay. Yeah. Surprise, mother effers. Can we, we looks like we can target this vehicle on its side. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use incendiary. Here it comes. There you go. Target destroyed. All right, they got three left. Two vehicles in this guy. Uh, that armor is gonna come right off in a second. I want to engage that guy, but not be seen by that turret back All there. The Alright, let's just do this. We've only got kinetic on this thing. We're going to fire it anyway, because why not? Ultra 10, he's got a pair of medium pulses. Alright. Okay, good damage. See ya. Solid connection. Wow, that thing is like solid. Receiving you. Solid. Okay, I think you're probably the only guy that's gonna be able to see this headser, so. Nice. Pilot ejected. Let's make sure we finish this shit up over here before we go after those other guys. Come on, why can't I target you? There we go. See ya. Okay, two turrets and one mech left. She should be able to finish up this turret. Use the incendiary. Oh yeah. You don't got enough AMS to defend yourself from that. One last turret. Check it off. Waiting for orders. Looking out. Okay, let's give this guy a fuck you. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the jungle. Okay, who's next? What's up, boss? Quakey. Coordinates received. I don't know if they're gonna have reinforcements, but screw it, we're gonna wind this up and get rid of this guy anyway. Lost evasive. Yeah, can you get over there and hit shoot this guy? You have the ability to do that? Oh, you do from over here. Of 
Come on, right there. I want to go. Yeah, that's where I want to go. You want fast? I can give you fast. No, you can't. You don't have the ability to give me fast. Not in that thing, you don't. All right, don't want to hit our guys in the back. Do we have Warlord up yet? No, we don't. Nice. Commander. Commander. If anything, I want this guy to be shooting at the battle master. Still got a crap ton of armor on this thing. Oh. Thank you for putting Warlord back in the bottom bar. That's awesome. All weapons are to go. Commander? How's about you do this? So we don't lose that arm. Hey, okay, good idea. Drop some thermal on this guy. Beautiful. Enjoy the heat, buddy. All out of long -range missiles, Commander. That's all right. That guy spent the entire battle hiding back there. Commander. Location confirmed. He's giving us his back. Oh, there we go. Hunchback, catapult, Hetzer SRM. Let's kill this turret. Ooh, look at the chance to hit. <laughs> it didn't stand a chance. <laughs> ah. All right, we're sweeping nicely, so let's get here. Heading out. Still focus firing this guy. Let's get him down and out of here. We've only got one kinetic bolt left. Uh, let's hang on to it because the other guys are at longer range. Better chance to hit. So let's fire this. Yes, command. Uh, I don't want back shots. Location confirmed. We've been applying side damage the whole time. So, well, this time we have been. So let's just keep it that way. See ya. What else do we got back here? Plainsman. Okay. Not so bad. I'm listening. Scrambly Boo, how about you? Heading out. Mm -hmm. Get us ahead of the game here. We need some of these gone, do you think? Think you could do that? Uh, let's go after um, something that hasn't been damaged yet. Let's go after the uh, let's go after a full strength one here. Hey, not bad. Who's next? Waiting for orders. Yeah, you I mean your arm is damaged, so you might as well help finish this shit up. Right, Commander. Moon walking. Screw it, throw that on. Wow. Oh, we got it. Okay, good. I was going to say that was terrible. Receiving you. Consider me there. What's up, you guys? This guy's probably the threat, but doesn't really matter because we ain't hitting shit over here. Let's go after the guy. It's like the hardest to hit. That way, if we do hit him, we're like like we're like a champion. No. <laughs> Reporting negative damage. Now they don't have spawn re spawn protection. Receiving you. No spawn protection for you. Let's get in the trees though. Roger that. We own this base now, you guys. You can't come here. Nobody's welcome. We've only got seven rounds left for the AC. One round for the sun. Uh, okay, let's dial this down to three. Actually, just put it down to one. Just see if we get a hit. Firing. Okay, so they got AMS. I'm out of long-range missiles. 
That's all right. Commander? Leave this off, though. Right, Commander. Okay. Two of four. Write it down, Commander. You certainly did. Ready for orders. Uh, I'm going to reserve you. Commander. Let's get up here. Confirmed. I don't think this is going to matter. Oh, he's got a shit ton of rocket packs, that guy. 4%, huh? That guy's got to die hard. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, let's go after one of the buildings that are almost... No! No. 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 This one's almost done. Let's go this route. That enough? Yep. Target's all gone now. Sure is. None of those guys have moved yet, eh? That rocket pult, man. I'm terrified of that thing. If it's got an Artemis, it could be dangerous as hell. Yeah? What can I do you for? What is up with the movement now? Move on out. Okay, it's getting the trees. Two ballistic, three energy. It's probably got one with the double rifles. Only 35 on this guy. Well, let's see if we can get a kill on this Hetzer. Beautiful. Vehicle trash. Do you guys not know who you're fighting? Hey! Do you not know who you're fighting? No, run away. Please be running away. Shit, here comes all the rockets. Oh, that really hurt. <laughs> well, at least there was only one in the head. Yes, Commander. Alright, you guys have blown your wad. How are you making out here? Your rockets are all gone. Alright, that's not a kill, I don't think. Well, maybe. So only got three SRMs. Oh, he's got two light AC-10s. I think we better shoot this guy. Okay, good hits. Alright, not bad, not bad. Good to go. Get up off your high horse. Look at you hovering above the ground. What are you? Some kind of hovering guy or something? Affirmative. You are? Alright. I don't mind hovering guys. As long as they're on my team. Alright, tag's on. That tag has been pretty consistent, I gotta say. I'm kinda shocked. Normally you don't have a lot of success with tags, but yeah. certainly am with that guy. Alright, let's finish this building up. Same attack as last time. Not that one. Which one is it? Is one of these that's damaged? Can I see it? Oh, I can't see it. That's why. Derp. Derp McGurk. There we go. Okay, let's kill it. Fire. Beautiful. Not yet, we ain't. Not yet, we ain't. To 
Can I get a can't? Risk it for the biscuit, probably? Uh, it's only a Thunderbolt 10. Not like I'm worried about it. I mean, I am, but I'm not, you know? It's already damaged, too. So let's uh, Warlord this. See what we can get out of this shot. Here it comes. Who would hit, too? Everything else missed. That one hit. Ready for order. Sledgehammer. Location confirmed. Can't avoid the flames. We were standing right in them. Oh, landmines explode, eh? This was only three damage. Shooting this guy again. Critical hit, Commander. We're gonna burn right through this guy's torso. You don't even need to move. Here it comes. That hit something good. Uh, he's not bailing out, eh? Mm-hmm. Thought so. Aye, aye. Screw you! Oh, still not enough. Get into the Ah sure there. Moving to position. That's enough. Let's warlord this. And uh Might as well use up all the last six rounds with this great chance to hit, firing at him. There you go. A little bit of payback. I see five ammo gone. It's alright, man. That's all right. We're in mop-up mode here. I got three guys left. Two of them are severely damaged. One of them is just to step on it. Well, if we get a chance to, unlikely. I remember the, the first play we're going after vehicles was always stepping on them because it was a pretty much a guaranteed kill. Now it's like uh, it's the chance to step on them is so low. Well, at least that's been, for, in my perspective, it's been so low that it's been not even worth attempting it. And even then, you don't even kill them all the time. Like this, the light ones you do, but that's it. That's all. I'm listening. Yep. LRMs are back. That's why you save your uh, your best ammo. Yeah, we're out of AMS ammo, unfortunately. All right, here comes this. Did I not turn them all on? I didn't turn them all on, did I? I did not turn them all on. See you later, alligator. Oh yeah, man. Got past his armor. How you like me now? Yeah, pilot held two of four. Yes, commander. All right, we watch his. Well, that's terrible. I was gonna say we guard his flank, but like, why? Can't even hit. All right, one hit. Oh, that was a head hit. Wow. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, can we not get that uh, vehicle? Oh, we can. Double time. All weapons are go. Yeah. All out of LRMs, Commander. That's all right. Right here. That's all right. See if we can kill this plainsman. There it goes. 
important vehicle destroyed. How's it going? Heading out. Okay. See ya. Engaging target. And he's down. Oh, pilot incapacitated. Beautiful. Well, you're in a bad spot. He's got no choice, though. I don't know what he would do. Yeah. Now, we had all our... Uh, LRMs on. It just didn't seem like a whole lot last time. Here we go. Come on, bail out. I'm guessing you didn't like it. All out of long range missiles. Okay, so he's down to one in the head. Hey, that's not fair. Good to go. Yeah, whatever. Alright, we did well. Mission successful. Okay, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 percent increase. So that's a pretty good that we'll need that for repairs, I think. I mean, we didn't take all that much. I mean, the Awesome's arm took a bunch and took it. The uh, Thunderbolt took a, took, took a hit and took some damage, but that's fine. Battlemaster, man, kills. Look at this. And the Avatar, too, with the vehicles. Uh, you know, and, and you think it doesn't do that much damage, but it's like, in cleanup mode, it's it, it does a really good job. I guess it treats buildings, too, as, as a vehicle kill. But really well done. The Victor only had one kill. The Awesome only had one kill. And both of these two guys have pretty good chances to hit. So they're doing most of the, the softening up, it seems. But the real kills are coming from the Battlemaster because it moves so slow. And the Avatar because of the indirect, I guess. So not bad. Okay, now the question is, what do we take? So these things are... Not that heavy. These are 65. Now, I don't think we've got any other catapult parts... Not interested in really putting that together anyway. Uh, let's look for some electronics just to see. I doubt it, but there might be something down here that would be worthwhile. Tagger. Ultra 10. Do we have any Ultra 10s? I think we have one, don't we? No, we lost our Ultra 10. This is 13 tons, though. Um, 260 core fuel cells. We could take these for just C-bills. 260 is what? 1.7. Ooh, fire control system indirect, double plus. I'm going to take... Wait, do we have one of these? We've got one, so we don't need it. I was just saying we could take it for the artillery mech. Uh, but we've already got one, so we don't... Oh, double, look at this. Four gyro slots reserved. I'm going to drop that... Oh, ten, two 10-ton ten hatchets. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to take that, but that's just funny. Uh, double heatsink kit is two point. That's that's worth selling. Prototype double heatsink I definitely want. Wow, TSMs, eh? We've got two of them, so we don't have to worry about that. UAV. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know where it would go. Heavy rack ammo. We don't have any extra. You know what? I'm gonna take it as a backup. Either that or maybe we can wherever we incorporate the heavy rack, like if we decide to put it in the Atlas or whatever, then we'll have extra ammo for it. Because 60 rounds I don't know, it's not bad. I mean guys, when we made it through that last mission with it okay, but against Assault Max that would be a different story I think. The rest of this stuff, I don't know. Counter Missile SRM ammo. Thunderbolt 5s. More Artemis ammo. We're, we got three of them, so we don't need it. All right, now let's take some stuff for sea bills. Let's go ahead and take the double heat sink kit because that's the most expensive. Where the hell is it? There it is. It's two point. It's two point five, right? Whereas hardened times two. That's only five hundred thousand. These are 
2.2 yeah 2.2 2.25 it's not worth it either all right we're gonna go this route I think God, I, it's funny thing is is I don't know where we would use these a lot of our Macs have built-in gyros although we could put one in the melee Mac and that would allow to put bigger engines and stuff in it with it with this so let's 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 go this route I think we're, I think that's good we don't have any of these right no okay a couple of mech parts this can go this can go rotary AC5 pirate we've got the heavies they're better it's gonna trash that these can go 240 cores can go the 260 do we have one we do so we can just sell that standard fire control system see ya um, 17 heat sinks that's that's actually good good chunk of cash there AC20 precision ammo don't think we're ever going to use just a regular AC20 that can go and that can go so yeah we just got what we got what we chose anyway so not bad but we made some good C bills we're at 5.6 million right now okay so not bad we made another couple hundred thousand off of our uh, straight up um, payment so we got 5.8 million yeah man that's pretty good all right we made it really well on there uh, let's go to the mech base real quick um, someone was mentioning um, that they wanted to check out what the Zeus looks like now I don't think we've got enough parts for to put that Zeus together um, yeah we don't we've only got three I thought we had another Zeus part but I guess we don't yeah we don't got enough to put an atlas together those Warhammers are still sitting there too. Got enough to put, we got enough to put an Orion together. I don't know. Mediums. Do we have anything that we can put together for mediums? Oh, we got a fire starter. So I'll probably anything. I'll go through and see what mechs we can, like these lower ones that we can put together. Looks like it's just a fire starter. I'll put it together. Oh, let's just just do it now. Why not? Uh, let's go ahead and ready this. Didn't cost me anything. Confirm. That neck you asked for is cleared for fighting. Now we're not going to use it obviously because it's like way underweight, but still. Doesn't look like a lot came off of it. The arms are both missing. So Guardian ECM. I mean it is an Omni Mac, right? So not like we're going to get anything out of it but yeah a couple of things here all right let's just go ahead and uh, scrap this guy would have been nice earlier on all right 378 that's actually not 387,000 not bad cool cool we're over 6 million which means we'll have 4.2 million to mess around with Wow, the black knight didn't take any damage well, it did, but I mean, it got it all back because of the repair systems. Sorry, because of the cheat systems. <laughs> I know people don't necessarily uh, like it when I say that, but I still think that the internal repair stuff is like, it should pre it should prevent from critical hits. I don't think it should repair the armor itself. But uh, yeah, so we're going to have to fix some fix our max up and figure out how we're going to refit. Now, most likely... What I'll probably do is refit what we've got now. Actually, I can do. I might as well just do the, quickly do the Conquistador right now. The thing we need to do is get rid of this guy. Actually, you know what? Let's hold off because I don't know where this guy's going yet. I gotta decide. Like. What was the reason we couldn't use? We have to get the, where is it here? The TSM has to go in here. We couldn't get a supercharger in. Oh, you know what it is, is we can't change out the core. So we can't make this any faster, which means, I mean, we could go with a three ton hatchet rather than a, uh, a 10 ton. But it's so woefully underpowered compared to this. Oh, we don't have two free hands. 
We don't even have one free hand, apparently. Okay. That's why we can't do it. All right. Yeah, no worries. So this is basically going to be a like a. I don't know. We need. We, I think we got to put a supercharger in it. And I think we got to make it a heavy hitter like the regular Black Knight. I think that's what we have to do. Right. Get a good targeting computer in there. Maybe we do put the. Um, if we've got more heavy goss ammo, maybe we put the heavy goss in there. And then. Um, yeah, I got to think about this. I'm going to do it off camera. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.